Hi friends, welcome to this session. Today we'll see how you can have your local project on your laptop, which you are creating using your Visual Studio uh, 2017. I am using that. And then you want to push it to Azure DevOps at some point of time. So as you can see, I have the Azure, uh, Azure DevOps account here. And uh, my project is here in Visual Studio 2017. Uh, this is one of the demo projects. You can download it from GitHub if required. Here is the link. Uh, it is a sample project provided by Microsoft. I have downloaded it from here just for uh, showing how you can actually commit this project into Azure DevOps. So as you see here, uh, similar project if you have created on your local uh, laptop and at some point you want to push it to Azure DevOps, then we'll see how we can do that easily. To get started, uh, the first thing which you have to do is to download Git and install it on your laptop. So you can download Git from this link. You can go to git-scm.com and you'll see this page. So based on your uh, OS, you can download whether 64 bit or 32 bit of Windows. Mine is Windows, I've downloaded it and already installed. Once you have installed Git on your laptop, then we'll go back to your DevOps account and we'll create a new project. So we'll click new project and we'll give a name. So let's say I'm just giving name as new project, provide some description and visibility. You can select either public or private uh, for this demo purpose. I'm selecting as private and just click create. It will take a few seconds to create this account. And here it's created. Now you'll have lots of options on the left side. Uh, right now we're interested in this option repos. So if you click there, you see it shows up the screen where it provides different options through which you can actually bring code into DevOps. So either clone to your computer or push an existing repository from command line, uh, which is the git commands here or import a repository. So I will just copy this path to this project. Once copied, now we will have to check in the local project into git source control so that then we can push that project into DevOps. So now we'll go to the folder where our project is. So this is a path where I have kept my source code for the project. You right click on here and you will see option like git bash here. Once you have installed git, open it. And you can see right now there is no source control for git. So we'll run a few commands git in it to initialize and you will see dot git folder is created so git is ready now and now we'll add devops project as a remote and we'll paste the path so this is added and now all the files which we have created for our project will add to git and then we'll run the commit and a comment for it and it says committed everything and now we'll push this to our remote DevOps. So we'll enter this and it's asking for authentication. I'll give the username and the password for my DevOps account and it has connected and pushed all the master branch to origin. If you go back to the project here and in repos, refresh, 
and you see all the code is available here now in DevOps also if you go back to Visual Studio and we'll close and start again once it is open go to Team Explorer and Team Explorer you will see the options here and on top you will see here manage connections click manage connections and Azure DevOps just say connect so now my local project is actually connected to the DevOps which I just post right now so any changes which I make now I can easily go to changes and make the commits here and push those changes up into DevOps so this way you can easily move your local project source code into DevOps thank you for watching this video